Alright, hey there Proxians, this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Prox Lock for Pokemon Y. And if you guys missed out in the last episode, we finally went and head on over here to where Campier Town is going to be. And also, too, uh, we're kind of stuck right now because unfortunately there is a Snorlax blocking our path, and we need to go and figure out on where the Poke Flute is going to be. Now, apparently they did say that we have to go over here to where Parfum Palace is going to be to actually go and uh, retrieve our Poke Flute that we do need to go out and grab for. And uh, this is going to be the part where we have to go and do that annoying fur for a puzzle but i think i kind of know on how to do it it shouldn't really take us all that too long anyways as as it is but uh, hopefully uh we don't have to worry about doing that for so many attempts but anyways uh also as well too i also did do some off record grinding uh, i did go and battle out a majority of these trainers that are already here uh, around this route anyways as it is uh so if you guys do ever see me uh pass by a trainer that that technically is supposed to be battling us but it already happened uh, i already taken care of that so don't have to go and worry about all of that right now but let's go and jump right on into our team recap so yeah as you guys can probably tell that our team is actually fairly pretty good right now uh, we actually have like some good level 19s level 20s right here and we also do have a level 15 uh for wendy so not all that too shabby at all at the slightest but let's go and check out our team right now so we got ourselves redfield at level 19 with pound metal claw bubble b which that is a brand new move and also peck this we do have uh, Atlas at level 20 with takedown, Sand Tomb, Dragon Rage, and also Sandstorm, so not bad either. We also do have Sally also as well at level 20 with Tackle, Sucker Punch, which that's also a brand new move, Hyper Fang, and also Bite, so pretty good. And it also does have Guts, which I never even knew, so it actually boosts the attack stat if the Pokemon has has a status condition, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we also do have Farron at level 19 with Glare, uh, Dig, Dragon Breath, and also Bite. And we also do also have Wendy at level 15 with Defense, Curl, Rollout, Poison Sting, and also Pursuit, which that is also a brand new move, so pretty nice so far uh but i think what i'm gonna do right now is actually gonna add up on that poison bar and actually give that over to scrollipede so if we ever do actually get ourselves some really nice good uh poison type of moves we can actually go and set that up really nice and we can go and destroy some fairy type pokemon much faster than we uh, originally attend for so very good so let's just go ahead right into this route here and pick up ourselves on our brand new pokemon shall we because uh we have never gotten ourselves a pokemon here at this route just yet so it's pretty interesting to go and check it out so let's see what we got Okay, so this route Pokemon is going to be an Ekans, and I'm not really all that feeling uh, for an Ekans right now. I kind of like the Scrollipede that we have. I'm just going to go and run away from it, but that sucks. Man, I wish we got ourselves something else a little bit better than an Ekans, but it's okay. But let's just go and uh, see what we got over here. Another ether. Wow, that's actually not too shabby at all. Don't mind if I do. So how many ethers is that? I believe that's actually two right now. If I go and check. Yeah, that's actually two ethers. So that is really nice. Okay, so let's just go and head right into this place. Because we do need to do that, of course. Now, unfortunately, uh, I did actually go and... Uh, oh, wait, hold on. What's going on out here? Uh, he's not going to let us in. The extra speed will be a thousand Poké Dollars per person. Wow, that's insane. you got to be kidding me. It costs money to go inside. You see, the owner of this palace loves the school of thought that you can never have too much money. Yeesh, this is how the rich get richer. Here's your entrance fee for a thousand Poké Dollars. Jeez, that's a lot of money just to go inside this place. So the, so the proceeds to the entrance fee may help pay for repairing a, a restoring pro probably. Oh, come on, man. you got to go and rob my money. Uh, Man, I wish I should have just went and bought out a few more Great Balls. Then I wouldn't even have to pay for that money as well. Jeez. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before in any of my other type of Pokemon games. So, that's pretty interesting that, that we actually were able to go and literally pay this guy. Because normally, most of the time, I wouldn't even have that much money to even begin with. And he would just let us in there for free. <laughs> and and uh, I think his dialogue would be like, uh, don't be like stupid around or trying to find other stuff that's uh, around here in the palace. But where is it? Oh, this man trying to look for his fro fro. Uh, where can it be? Oh, my fro fro. Oh, my bullet little fro fro has disappeared. Uh, it disappeared. Hey, P Meister, we should go and help. Look, I mean, if my if my Pokemon was missing, I'd be sick with worry. Well, we're going to worry about that just in a little bit, because if you guys remember during the last uh, episode, I did say that I was going to be on a hunt for an amulet coin, because I do need that uh, for our journey, because I would like to have some extra cash alongside with us. But if we just go ahead right inside this room here and pick up this Pokeball, we got ourselves an amulet coin, which that is going to be very handy. And I'm just going to go and add that right on over to Sally, because... I don't really normally use Sally all that too much, but when I do, it should be pretty nice because then we can be able to go and uh, get some extra cash along the way, which that is always good to have. 
Okay, so let's just go and head on down back to where the back part is of this place because we have to go and do the fur fro annoying puzzle, which I guess that could be probably, I guess, the comic question of the day for you guys. Uh, so do you guys like the fur fro puzzle? Let me know. I know that majority of you guys are, are going to probably say, I don't really like the fur fro puzzle that too much. And I kind of agree with you on that. I think it's a kind of an annoying thing to kind of literally go and do just because uh, that's just something to go and grab out the pokey flute. I wouldn't mind if there was like a different puzzle to like go and grab out the pokey flute without having to worry about doing that freaking like for fro thing because that took me about like hours upon hours to literally figure out how to do that on my first time but i do have to say i really do like this statue i know that i always come back to this every time whenever i do uh, any type of generation six type of game out here i remember this was actually uh my thumbnail for uh my pokemon x randomizer that i did when i was coming over to this place when i first played uh generation six on this channel but uh, I'll have a look in the back. Yes, we have to go and make sure to figure out if Furfro is uh, somewhere in the back part of this area. But before we actually go and do that, though, I would like to go and uh, pick up on this item over here. Because this is where our HMO1 for cut is going to be. Which, uh, I don't know who I would probably give that to. I could probably give that over to School of Pete or something. But I think here in this game, if I'm not mistaken, we don't even have to even worry about using uh, cut uh, to actually cut down any of those trees. Because the funny thing is, is that I'm pretty certain here in this generation, you can actually use air cutter as for uh, using your cut mechanism. Now, I could be wrong, and then that could probably be Oras, but uh, I'm pretty certain you can do that here uh, in this generation as well, too. So that's always nice. That's always a plus right there. It's too bad that, unfortunately, with all the other uh, HMs, you can't really do anything about with that. But air cutter is something that you can kind of go and use that for for trees and stuff which that is always very nice to have uh, so we just yeah we just have to keep on going straight up from here or what's going on uh oh ah we got more of these meet other players i don't need to worry about that dude stop popping up with that notification all right here we go this is where we need to be okay so there's the fur fro gonna be run away hey uh, please don't run away uh p meister give me a hand Okay, so now she's going to be telling us all about the different areas that we can actually go and place Shauna at. But the easy part that you want to kind of want to go and do here for this. Uh, so all you have to do is just kind of let uh, Shauna just stay in the middle. And just make sure that you actually, uh, because like I'm pretty sure, yeah. So Furfro is going to stay right there. So all we have to do is just kind of literally leave Shauna here. So place her right on that spot. And then you can just come right from the back part here and let the Furfro run all the way up to the very top of this area. And then you just go and finish off with that. And then all we have to do then is just actually go add Shauna to the left side. And then you can just go from the other opposite side and then finish off with that. I remember uh, wh when I did this, I remember um, like I was close to be almost finishing off with this. But I went through the other opposite way instead. And then it just created to a much more other bigger problem than it had to do. And I had to spend out so much time just trying to do this. But there you go. Only took me about like maybe like 55 seconds, but we literally got it done. So P Meister, you're amazing. We cut it because uh, you understand how Pokemon feel. And there's the guy. So my dear Furfro, my beloved Furfro, uh, could it be you two uh, response for my wonderful uh, uh, or wonderful reunion with my dear Furfro? Uh, how wonderful! Uh, how wonderful indeed! It's marvelous, simply marvelous. A situation like this demands fireworks. We shall put on a show. Boom boom! And my Pokemon and I are reunited. Our bond has been proven. We'll commemorate the joyous occasion with a tremendous fireworks display. And it will also serve as a reward for the tiny bit of trouble that you went. So, rendezvous at the balcony. Yep. So, we kind of already know where we need to go from here. Now, I think also, too, on my Pokemon X randomizer, for whatever mysterious reasons, that uh, even this part, I think, like, during the time of the fireworks show, uh, like, we get, like, that big, uh, that, that uh, type of weird black type of screening that, that happens, like, in the background, just, like, before, like, uh, in episode one, when we had to, like, open up the door, and it just creates, like, this weird type of black hue that's, like, around... I don't know why that is. I guess I just could be probably just an emulator thing, I guess. But let's just keep on heading back all the way down over here. Oh, wow. I really do like all these different statues because we have, like, the Kairu statue that's just right there. And they have, like, uh, the, the, what's this, the Golurk and the Palpatine. I think that's also Ponyard as well on that side. So that's pretty cool. Kind of reminiscing about Generation 5 all over again. Which I do have to say, I love Generation 5. Not a whole lot of people really do like Generation 5 all that too much, but I still kind of like it. I like how, like, in Generation 5, you were able to find, like, so many different Pokemon, uh, like, like just in that game alone. It's just kind of funny to me, is that, like, uh, 
like like uh like the pokemon community is just kind of r really funny sometimes what whatever like like new pokemon games comes out and it's like it's, it's like people always complain about like oh i don't want to have too many pokemon and then like and then like gay freak actually listens and then like and, and then all of a sudden uh also, when the game actually does come out, that people go like, "Well, why was there not? Uh, it, there was like not even that many Pokemon to even begin with." <laughs> it's like, well, you already asked for that, though. <laughs> it's just like Generation Five. It's like it, it, it's like people wanted more Pokemon, and then and then we got more Pokemon, and the, and, and then they complained about why why there was too many Pokemon to begin with. <laughs> sometimes it's just so funny to see that on Twitter. Sometimes. Well, not even on Twitter. I think like, like I think that was back in like forums and stuff like back in the day. All right, there we go. Get all my Pokemon all healed up, just so that I could be fully prepared for the Snorlax fight that we're gonna be doing here. All right, well, let's just go and uh, head on down this way back to Route Seven and use our Poke Flute. And I think, unfortunately, we don't really actually do keep our Poke Flute all the way here, unfortunately. Watch Pokemon look so sleepy, so content. Well, can I actually use... Oh, wait. I think I have to talk to this guy first. Or I can sleep after all. So when it gets in the way, it has to be wicked with a Pokemon flute. But, but don't we already have that? Did we already get that from the guy already, though? No, we did not. Okay, so... Where is this guy, then? Oh, right. I think I missed the, uh, the... Whoops. I spoke way too soon. I spoke way too soon after all that. I have to go right into the balcony area. Damn it. And he just said go to the balcony, and then I just, like, automatically just decided to just run on out of here. Oh, my God. That was my bad. Whoops. I jumped the gun way too fast there. But... I think what I need to do is just keep on heading straight down from here, and then there should be this log corridor, and then we can just go right to the back part. There we go. Now, I do have to say, I really do like how, how they have both the Reshiram and the Zekrom already there. Kind of have, like, on them with the, like, on the two different sides. I wish they had a statue for, like, a white Kyrim or black Kyrim instead, but it looks pretty cool. I never watched Fireworks alone uh, with a boy before. Oh man, is Shauna gonna be going out with us? No, actually, there is some rumors that apparently uh, Shauna and the trainer that we actually do see here, apparently, um, some people speculated that Shauna would actually be our mom in uh, Sun and Moon, and I and uh, I don't know if that's like confirmed or anything, but apparently that's what people think, or or some fans think. This is pretty interesting. I like the fireworks display here. Which you never really get to see that much in a Pokemon game, that much anyways. I think in Generation 5 you got to see some fireworks display, I think like during the time after you uh, beat it, uh, Iris. And I thought that I uh, wanted to forget this, so I'll keep this memory in the album in my heart. Uh, so that was my uh, Wonder Fro fireworks show for my Fur Fro. So I assume that you're satisfied with that. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, yes, the Poke Flute. Yeah, that's the, that was the whole main reason why I had to come all the way back here was because I jumped the gun so fast that I forgot about the Poke Flute. So give it to them. Yay! Give me this Poke Flute here, my dear sir. Because I need that to awaken the Snorlax. So listen well, you two. Uh, always return that what you borrow, so it's very important. Uh, so I can't just keep the Poke Flute? Uh, well, I think I'll try and forget about him. So you can't imagine how stressful running this place is for him. So that may be so, but... Oh, that, yeah, that's right. But Mr. Butler, do you even know anything about Mega Evolution? I remember reading a book on that subject in my uh, palace library. Or, or in the place library. It had something to do with that, uh, or what you uh, call a trainer holding a mysterious stone high, and making Pokemon evolve even further. Also, it's not much, but I would like you to have this. What is this? TS17 for 10? Nah. Uh, I just already was trying to get... Uh, a learning move uh, for Schooler Pete for, uh, for Protect. I didn't really need that, but now we actually do have an actual TM for it now. The owner of Shabano Castle used to be friends with that guy, so can you believe it? Isn't that crazy? Uh, we have to be sure to give that flute back after we wake up the Snorlax. Yes, we will. Okay, let me get on out of here. Alright, now we can finally go back onto Route 7 and finally do everything that we need to do. Okay. Let's go and head on down this way. Uh... Now I just have to try and remember again. 
here. So, it, yep, so it's down here where the Milotic statue is. I'm kind of, like, uh, I'm pretty certain here in this randomizer, I did actually make static uh, Pokemon actually do get randomized. So, this Snorlax here should be a randomized Snorlax, so that would be interesting to actually go out and see. Oh. Again, all these different connecting route or, or, or different connecting paths, like, they always screw me up here. So, I have to go through this one. Now, also here in this place, too, you can also run into uh, Audinos as well. And, unfortunately, I don't think that ever changes. I think that's still vanilla. But we can go ahead through here now and get our cutscene now. Okay, so oh, it's you two. Did you actually uh, manage to borrow the Poké Flute? Yes, we did. So there you go. So thanks. Uh, well, you're the only one who can play it, right? So it's not actually going to be grumpy when it wakes up. So I might attack. I'll play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? Yes. Oh, so it feels nice to have this flute in my hands with the kids. Okay, so I guess we'll start playing. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I think we got ourselves a cave before we start going on over to Grant's place. So we have to go and take care of that first. So Snorlax opened his eyes wide. Oh man, who's it gonna be? Who's this Pokemon? Oh, wow, it's just gonna be a normal Snorlax. Oh, that's strange. I literally randomized out static Pokemon. I don't know why this Snorlax... Maybe this Snorlax is still vanilla or something. Um, now this is gonna be a little bit troublesome but i could just probably just run away from this it doesn't really matter <laughs> run away see you later dude i don't think we really need a snorlax i think i'm okay kind of like the team that we already have right now so the only thing i could do is with that point for us to put it on display but you've been playing since uh, you were little so the tone is lovely so it seems like my fur also likes the sound of that flute so not as much as it likes my beautiful wonderful fireworks of course but yeah i guess so Still, your play sounded better uh, back in the day, so I'll let you take care of that flute so you should be sure to practice more. But not only that, we still also got ourselves another route up ahead, because uh, I'm pretty certain... Um, I don't know if this is going to turn into a different route up ahead into this part, but... Oh, we got ourselves a daycare, or what's going on? So hey, P-Meister, Trust says that you want to go and check out the Pokemon daycare, so come with us. Ah, uh, fine. Well, we already know what about what the daycare is all about here. I guess, do they have any eggs for us? Uh, having the same Pokemon with the same moves, uh, step up and dance. So how about you, P. Meister? Uh, there aren't many Pokemon that will want to race, so try it on some other occasion. Well, I'm going to go and look for some Pokemon on my dance team. Okay, you go and do that, Tierno. Uh, so hey, wait up, Tierno. So is there any special eggs that I can go and pick up? Uh, we can race Pokemon for you. Nope. Okay. How about you? Do you have a special egg for me? Sometimes a Pokemon that hides from eggs will know the same moves. Nope. Nothing of the sort like that there. Fine. But, I'm the daycare man. We take care of person Pokemon of our trades. If you like to raise uh, your Pokemon, you have to have a word with my wife. Okay. So, I want to see. Can I actually head all the way up this path? I, I think somebody tells me I think we may probably have to go into another rival fight at some point up in this area. But we got ourselves a double battle, so we'll just keep on going up here. We got ourselves a Glalie and a Knockdown. Uh, that's a little bit troublesome there. A uh, Knockdown. Well, actually, we could go for a Metal Claw and try to knock out on the Glalie, because I'm pretty sure uh, Steel-type moves can actually be super effective on the ice there. Dragon Rage. I'm going to probably kind of double team up on the Glalie. I don't know if Knockdown is going to be crazy, but... Ouch! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hopefully they don't kill me. Okay, mud sport. Thank God. You actually went for something that was actually kind of stupid. Jeez. Okay, Dragon Rage, please kill this thing. Okay, there we go. Jeez. That was way too scary. We were always about to be going into another death right there. I think it's about time that we should probably change out our Pokemon. I'm gonna go for a Bubble Beam, I think. We're gonna switch up, and we're gonna go right into... I wanna say maybe it's Sally, or maybe it's Farron. Probably Farron. Oh, thank God this is knocked out. It does not have Pursuit. That would suck really bad. And then we will lose that on our Gibble. Okay, so it does have Quick Attack. That's fine. At least that's not gonna do too much. Here we go, a bubble beam. 
Uh, doesn't do too much damage, but at least it does at least something. Metaphor. Let's see how much that's gonna do. Do have bite though. I'm pretty sure bite's not gonna do too much, but at least it does at least something. Pull back. Okay. I don't even know what that move's all about though. Okay, here we go. Another metal claw and another bite, and that should be able to just take care of this knockdown, no problem. There we go. That's how we do it. So I guess we have to wait for our next uh, encounter with another Pokemon is uh, into the uh, into the cave. Now I can't remember uh, what the actual name of this cave is called because I don't know if this is Glaring Cave or Reflection Cave, but I don't think it's Reflection Cave because I think Reflection Cave is a little bit later on passed through this place. Okay, so let me just go and head back as quickly as possible, and I think we'll probably have to end off this episode. Kind of already did, kinda, yeah, we already did quite a bit of stuff already. We got ourselves the Pokey Flute, we encountered the Snorlax. Didn't really need it all that too much, to be honest with you. Like, Snorlax is pretty nice and all, because it is a pretty bulky Pokemon, and it does get some pretty nice good moves uh, here and there. But, I don't think we don't really need it, because we can find other Pokemon uh, that are going to be much suitable, like, probably much better than what the Snorlax is going to be. Because again, this game is randomized, so anything could be possible to happen. Um, so let's see, I'm just going to probably just end it off right here next to this nice clear blue water. So I'm just going to go ahead and end on this episode here for today, guys. So thank you so much for watching. In the next one, we're going to go and head into our cave section that we have to go and do. But I believe we have to go and take care, I think, of Trevor first. Uh, our next rival battle before we go and do anything else, so... I think we have to go take care of Trevor, then we'll head inside the cave, and then uh, we may probably just end off the episode, like, probably uh, during the time, like, after when we get to our uh, next city, to where uh, Grant's, well, well, close to where Grant's place is going to be, because I'm pretty sure we have to go across to another town soon. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, and also, too, guys, uh, don't forget about the comment question of the day, which that is, uh, do you guys like the fur puzzle? Yes or no? Um, and uh, I'll see you guys then, and peace.